Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai or Kia guys with a GDI engine. It could be any GDI engine. And if you have bubbles in the cooling system, in the coolant uh, overflow bottle, we have bubbles, we have pressure in the coolant hoses. Stabilis works, but not can easily cause that. And in some cases, it's something super simple that if you don't fix on time, you can say bye bye to your engine and you may need to spend five to ten thousand dollars for a new engine guys or having the old engine rebuilt. So all that will be covered in this video today. Now, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. If you need to buy any parts, tools for your Hyundai or Kia, check out the link in the description of the video below guys. That's where we get all our cheap tools and parts from. Uh, usually great shipping great price as well so this is the gdi engine that we took apart specifically this is guys the 2.4 gdi but even if you have a different gdi 1.6 1.8 2.0 2.4 2.5 2 the procedure is about the same so what causes uh, bubbles in the cooling system now we're going to start with one simple thing let's say guys okay you're driving the car okay you start seeing bubbles in the cooling system maybe the car is overheating you touch the radiator hoses they're like super hard yeah, under enormous amount of pressure and you want to uh, find out okay what causes that it could be one simple thing let's say you replace the radiator radiator hose the coolant temperature sensor thermostat anything that involved draining the cooling system and you develop that problem it could be due to the fact that you did not bleed the cooling system the correct way if you don't bleed the cooling system on these modern vehicles what happens you may end up having an air pocket somewhere in the engine and that air pocket can actually prevent coolant from uh, flowing freely as a result you may start overheating even your engine or in some cases you may start uh, slowly start see bubbles coming to the uh, to the coolant tank and uh, you may be overheating the engine at the same time that's why you have pressure in the coolant hoses so it's important to bleed the cooling system okay on Hyundai Kia uh, with the GDI engine and we'll have a video how to do that number two guys okay there is something else that you need to do let's say you don't fix it on time okay or uh, you have other problems you drove the car with no coolant you didn't bleed the cooling system uh, thermostat was stuck close anything like that and you overheated the car guys what could happen at that point okay maybe your cylinder head gasket failed this is your cylinder head gasket it's between the cylinder head and the engine block right here the purpose of that gasket is okay three things practically you can see there is a ring around the combustion chamber and what it does guys actually it prevents okay compression from running out number two guys number two uh, it prevents coolant from going to the combustion chamber and coolant going to the uh, engine oil so uh, the gasket has three components one for the coolant one for the oil one for the compression and if one of those fails what can happen you can start okay pumping hot air when the engine is running into the cooling system that will uh, create bubbles and that will actually cause guys okay cause uh, bubbles in the cooling uh, reservoir here as well or hard uh, uh, radiator holes under enormous amount of pressure as well because you keep pumping hot air in the engine in order to fix that you need to replace the cylinder head gasket you need to have the cylinder head uh, rechecked as well or and resurfaced because in some cases it could rub the cylinder head as well another thing it could be defective cylinder head if you have a cracked cylinder head that can cause that as well uh, uh, especially on the combustion chamber on the bottom side and that can uh, that can easily cause okay having bubbles in the cooling system and in some cases it could be cracked block but i haven't seen that happen quite often as well so for any of you that need that information hopefully the video was helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time